my gaming grail. It's so the top, the holy grail item for me. I can have one thing in my collection. My grail is to have that again. What's up guys, Russ Lyman here, and in this week's Top 3 Tuesday, I'm actually in Portland for the Retro Gaming Expo. And what better topic to talk about than gaming grails. My top three gaming grails I wish I had in my collection. So let's check them out. Top 3 Tuesday, what will it be? Sit back, relax, and listen to me. It's Countdown Show. One, two, three. It's Top 3 Tuesday, best day of the week. Now, if there was a full set that I wanted to complete and wouldn't take up a lot of room, that would have to be the Virtual Boy set, only containing 22 games. The most expensive game in there, though, is Jack Bros. Jack Bros was developed and published by Atlas for the Virtual Boy and was released on September 29, 1995 in Japan and somewhere between late October and November 95 in North America. It is a spin-off from Atlas video game series Megami Tensei and was the first entry to be released outside of Japan. Jack Bros follows the three Jack brothers, Jack Frost, Jack Lantern, and Jack Skeleton who have traveled from the fairy world to the human world through a portal that opens every year on Halloween. Losing track of time, they spend too much time in the human world and forget about returning until there is only one hour left to the portal's closing. The fairy pixie shows them a shortcut, which, while dangerous, is the only way to return to the portal in time. Jack Bros. Virtual Boy. We're asking $6.50 for it. Complete in box though. That box art is awesome. So got the Japanese version of the game here, but with an American card kind of paired up. This is kind of the one time I think the American version of the box art looks a little better. Sometimes when games come out, companies make promotional items to draw hype around that game for the people. And one of those games was DuckTales Remastered. The company put out an awesome promotional item, and that's my number two gaming grail. DuckTales has always been a favorite series of mine growing up. I grew up watching the cartoon and was super excited for the game to come to the NES back in 1989. I even remember having the Nintendo Power issue with it on the cover. To the music, to the simple gameplay of this game, it has a charm that stays with you. Capcom decided to remaster this game and port it to many consoles back in 2013. The game features a 2.5D presentation with a 2D hand-drawn character sprites and 3D modeled levels. And as a fun promotional item for this game, 150 lunch boxes containing a bunch of fun items, including a gold DuckTales NES cart was made. Most thought it was a fun display item, but this had the remastered art on the label, and wouldn't you know it, it actually had the original NES game on it. Being limited to only 150 copies in existence makes it extremely rare and price charting has it listed at $1,300 for the value. This would certainly be something amazing to have in my collection and considered a grail, much like Scrooge McDuck's Lucky Penny. All right, here we go. So oftentimes, companies will have collaborations and team up and make something unique. And this happened with Sharp and Nintendo, making it my number one item on Gaming Grail. The Sharp Nintendo Television, often described as the C1 NES TV, had a built-in licensed Nintendo Entertainment System. Originally released in Japan in 1983, the unit was released to the US in 1989. It has been said you get a clearer picture with these TVs because the system was connected via a straight composite signal directly to the TV. A lot of people now just play their retro consoles on modern TVs and find ways to upscale the output. But there's nothing like playing an NES game on a CR TV. Heck, you can even play Hogan's Alley or Duck Hunt on this bad boy with no issues. This also came with black NES remotes that are exclusive to the TV, and I've seen them sell as high as $100 a piece. Growing up with the Nintendo and owning this piece of history would certainly be a highlight to have it in my collection, and that's why it's at the top of my list.
All right, so we are at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, so I thought it'd be a great idea to walk around and get some people's opinions on what their grail is for their game collection. Let's hear what they have to say. Adam, <laughs> if you can have something in your collection that would be a gaming grail, what item would it be? Like something you always sort at, sought after. Russ Lyman's mom. <laughs> One thing in my collection. Uh, I mean, when Nina and I have a house, maybe an Alien vs. Predator cabinet or something. Oh, nice. I've always wanted that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's um, definitely cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. What's up, guys? Wes from Gaming <laughs> Off the Grid here. A holy grail item for me would have to be the Panasonic GameCube. I've always wanted one, and they are so sexy. That's my holy grail. Nice. I'm gonna have to go with Scarlet Dawn, the whole arcade machine. That would be bad. What's going on? Chris here with Total Splash Gaming. I've been wanting Haunting Ground for the PS2 for years, and I'm too cheap to buy it. So, I'm gonna pick that up eventually, but that's my holy grail. Gary from Rockstar Productions here at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, and Russ asked me my holy grail games, and they're kind of weird. Because I don't look at rare games, I look at just games I want to play. And one of them, it's going to sound stupid, Earthworm Jim. But not any version of Earthworm Jim. It's the one for the Sega CD. The sound is so much better. It looks great. It is just such a phenomenal game to play. And it's common too. You can get them for relatively inexpensively. Hey there, buddy. So the top rail gaming item I would have to say for me would be stadium events. Or Cheetah Man 2. Or not Cheetah Man 2, Cheetah Man. But Stadium Events for sure. It's uh, one of the last ones I need and I look for it all the time and it's so expensive, but that would be it. What's up guys, Sean from the Nerd Lair here and my top gaming grail is the slime controller on the PlayStation 2. Now the next two ones, a little bit more expensive and a little bit more of that holy grail, the NWC cart. I mean, come on. I actually played in the Nintendo World Championships back at the Mecca Auditorium in Milwaukee. I made the semifinals. I got the painter's cap. I've still got the badge, which I will send Russ a picture of so he can throw it in here right now. But I would actually one day love to have an NWC cart. I just have bills to pay, so that ain't going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> Holy Grail game for me, Red Ox, is definitely got to be TurboGrafx-16, Darkwing Duck, Complete CIB, Let's Get Dangerous. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> if my friend who used to be a collector, he collects like clothes now, like expensive clothes. Oh, okay. He got rid of all of his games, except he kept his Nintendo Sharp TV, and it's complete with everything, oh, like with, the remote, everything? with the remote, everything. He has it in his mom's basement and said he'd sell it to us for a very good price, and he tests it occasionally so it still works it's just getting it up to our third floor apartment in philly would be a pain in but we will have the sharp tv that's actually on yeah. my list that's is it really guess. yeah a lot of people i've wanted one of those forever the final one is actually an arcade cabinet it's star wars arcade and i know one up is coming out with a stand-up three-quarter scale version of star wars arcade but I want the original. I want the original that you sit down in. It is such a great game that harkens back to my childhood as a kid of the 80s. Man, Atari did a great job on that. And those are my three holy grail games I wish I could pick up someday. And maybe NWC. And maybe, maybe NWC Gold. But definitely, definitely state of events. So top three gaming grails that I currently own, I'd have to say uh, for number three is a complete in box Ninja Warriors for the Super Nintendo. Um, number two would be a complete in box Mega Man X3, also Super Nintendo. Number one guaranteed, and this was a recent pickup, was an authentic Star Fox Super Weekend cart. I'm Kinsey Burke from Metal Jesus Rocks, and my gaming grail is actually a GameCube Panasonic Q. One day I'll find it. Hi, I'm Joe Granato uh, with Nest Maker, the New Ape Heroes. Uh, if there was one game that, that's sort of my grail, which I will never get again, uh, and it's kind of a silly answer, but I want my childhood copy of The Legend of Zelda again. Like, I've got copies, I've got multiple copies of that game, but they're not my copies, you know, and I miss that. So that would be my grail, is to have that again. Guys, 
So that was my top gaming grail list. Let me know in the comments down below what's something you might want to have in your collection. Certainly was great to hang out here at Portland and talk to everyone as well. Hey guys, remember if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out. And again guys, if you want to see more videos of what I do, there will be a link to my channel in the description down below. As always gamers, I'm Russ Lyman and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video.